guys! Today I am here to give you a quick little DIY video. I have just been kind of wanting a shoe that is like this and I've seen several different ones online and just for the price and for what you get it seems like a lot of money for something that um, it's just kind of like something fun that maybe you won't want forever It's because it's just kind of fun and like trendy. So I thought that I could just make a shoe and so this is what we are going to be making today or what I am going to be making today. I made one already and I'm just going to show you how I did this one on the shoe. So show you how I did it. Okay, so all you're going to need for this DIY is obviously shoes and a shoe with a narrow toe strap is preferable just so that what really stands out is the fuzz, the fur. So that's what you'll need is a pair of shoes. These are the these are Dolce Vitas from Nordstrom's, and I think they're on sale for like fifty or sixty dollars. So that's where I got these. And the second thing you'll need is a little piece of like miniature boa. I got this at Joann's, and it was like a dollar ninety for the whole strip, including the one that's on the other shoe. So very very cheap, very affordable. That's where I got that. The second thing you'll need is a pair of scissors. These are fabric scissors. There's like fuzzy everywhere. These are fabric scissors from Joann's that I got, I don't know how many years ago. And then the last thing that you will need is glue dashes or glue dots. And I got these also at Joann's. So that is the last thing you'll need. So very simple, not a lot of supplies which I love that. So you're going to take your piece of boa here and I did not measure it with the other shoe or anything like that. I just kind of put it on here. I felt with my finger that it is covering up the strap but not all the way to the bottom. So it's just going to be down to there. And the same thing with the other side. I'm going to put it, I can hold it still here. I'm going to put it like that. Make sure it's not touching further, I can kind of feel the ends on both, both sides and line it up to the end of the strap. So it's going to be the same length as the toe strap. And I just kind of hold it with my finger and then I'm going to cut it there. And it's nice because it doesesn't have to be super exact because it's fluffy and a boa and you can't really tell anyways if it's hanging over a little bit. And if it's a little bit too much we can always cut off. So I'm going to cut right there. I can cut it. These scissors are kind of old. I've used them for lots of stuff. So I'm going to cut it right there, and I'm telling you, it's going to be a little messy and fuzzy, so just to warn you. And I'm going to take my glue dashes. I've used glue dots before, and those, are, these, those can work too. But these are called glue dashes, and they just come in like a little sheet like this, and they come in little squares. So you'll pull off a square. The reason why I'm using these is because these shoes are really really cute by themselves without boas or anything and they're just really classic and will be good shoes for life so I wanted to make sure that I could be able just to take the boa thing off eventually so that's why I'm using these I thought about using different stuff and if you want to take a cheaper shoe and just use super glue and just know that that thing's not coming off there and just be kind of happy about that and not really worry about it because it's cheap um, you can totally do that too. So I just do this so I can save my shoe and not damage it in any way if later on I decide to take the little fuzzy thing off. So, and then I'm just kind of, kind of, I think you can actually, you don't need to use scissors, but these are like a little bit bigger than what I need. You just need like a little tiny dot. And I'm going to start putting it one there, just as close to the platform as possible if it'll come off. It really wants to stick to me. And then um, just put another one there. So I'm just going to put them all along here all the way to the other side. And I'm just going to use several. I don't have to worry about using too many. They're not going to show because they're clear. And they're really small because we're cutting them. And the black boa is going to cover it up anyway so we don't have to worry about them showing. I'm going to say right now, these shoes are not like to go run a marathon in or like wear all day. These are like night out with your hubby. You want to spice things up type of shoe. 
girls night whatever hey just run to the grocery store you can do that too who said who said you couldn't run to the grocery store in boa shoes all right so i'm just going to keep working around here i've got lots of glue dots going on the nice thing is is i'm only using like three of these so you really don't need any you don't need that many and it's really cheap too this costs like five dollars for this whole pack and then a dollar ninety for the boa so for the supplies it's like super cheap so i have several lined up here in a row i got it all kind of even it doesn't really matter just as not long as you have them enough of them on there they're going to stick to so i'm going to start on the side here if i can see here and kind of show you Start there and then just lay it across like so. And then I'm going to squeeze it on there and make sure that the boa attaches to the glue dots. So, and you kind of have to just kind of work it and make sure that like there's like a main line inside the boa. So make sure that kind of gets connected to each glue dot. And you kind of just work it with your hands. And then I didn't go down like as far on this side with each glue dot because I wanted to wait and really attach the very ends of the boa to it. So I'm going to go back. Oh my gosh, it's like molting here. Um, I'm going to go back and use one glue dot for each side and put it down on the ends. I'm going to cut this last one in half and use one for each side. So I'm going to put one as close to the platform as possible. And I'm going to attach the end to it. Whoops. I think this one got stuck to too many feathers, so I'm going to redo this one. Which is totally fine. Just pull it right off. Get another glue dot. And then put it on the end again. So I put it on the very end without any feathers sticking to it. Make sure it's good and attached to the leather first. And then pull tight and wrap that boa around there and stick it on there real good. There, now I can feel that it's actually like the main, the middle part of the boa is actually attached to it. Because we don't want the feathers sticking to it because it's going to flap around. But if you have like the main middle like wire attached to it, then it's going to be good. So then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to put this on the very bottom and make sure that none of the feathers are kind of touching it like last time. Kind of pull it all back, get my glue dot to stick on the leather really good. Ah, it's wanting to stick to me instead. And then stick the main ribbon on there, the main um, wire on there. So I can feel like it is, they're both attached good to the side and voila! Isn't that super cute? I think these are so fun. I'm excited to go like on a date night with my husband. <laughs> I didn't really think of these as being like super sexy, but when my husband saw the first shoe, he was like, um, those are like lingerie shoes. So it's like, oh yeah, I guess they are kind of sexy. <laughs> I thought they were more fun and cute and like little furry shoes. But yeah, so I'm planning on busting these out for a date night. Aren't these like super cute? They totally look like a million dollars, even though it cost me like I don't know, $60 for like the whole shebang. So that is it. Oh my gosh, I am literally covered in feathers. That is my cute little DIY. Super, super easy. So fun. I love switching it up and showing you guys different stuff that I just like randomly comes into my head. So if you guys like DIY videos, give me a big thumbs up. And if I get lots of thumbs up, maybe I'll do more. Maybe not. But yeah, just... If you want to see different stuff, let me know. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
actually maybe 55 I don't know <laughs> I'm like counting trying to how much was it I don't know so what do you think should I have a mustache <coughs> I think I swallowed a fuzzy